Hyperanoid Moisturizer, is effective in treating radiation dermatitis, following radiation therapy for breast cancer. Acute Radiation Dermatitis, ARD, is the most common side effect of radiotherapy for breast cancer. The symptoms of ARD are hair loss, dryness, and itching caused by damage to the skin and appendages due to radiation. Due to barrier dysfunction, irradiated skin feels drier compared to non irradiated skin. Moisturizers can be used for the patients undergoing radiotherapy for breast cancer. The main objective of the study was to evaluate the effect of hyperanoid moisturizer on the skin water content after whole breast radiotherapy using corneometer in the patients with breast cancer. Skin related signs and symptoms were also assessed. The study was a randomized control trial in which the patients with breast cancer were selected randomly. In total 62 patients consented to participate in the study, wherein there were three withdrawals. 30 patients were treated with hyperanoid moisturizer, and 32 were on the control group. The inclusion criteria for the study was, patients with carcinomas treated by lumpectomy, women who were aged 30 to 65 years, with non-inflammatory breast cancer. The tumor should be located outside the inner upper quadrant, which was designated as skin water content measurement site. While selecting the patients who underwent individualized computer tomography based treatment, efforts were made to ensure that breast treatment received was not less than 95% or greater than 107%. Patients who had bilateral breast cancer, patients who underwent previous radiotherapy to the thorax, patients who were sensitive to hyperanoid substance, and patients who did not keep the instructions on how to apply the topical agents on the breast, were excluded from the study. The hyperanoid moisturizer contains mucopolysaccharide polysulfate at 0.3% weight per weight. The patients were instructed to apply the moisturizer twice daily from two weeks following whole breast radiation therapy and to continue the use for three months after completion of whole breast radiation therapy. The patients are selected based on inclusion and exclusion criteria. The selected patients were divided into two groups randomly. Group M, the moisturizer group and Group C, the control group. After pretreatment evaluation, the patients were instructed to apply moisturizer twice daily, for approximately 10 weeks. The results were evaluated after completing 10 weeks of trial period. The skin water content was measured, prior to whole breast radiation, on the last day of whole breast radiation therapy, and two weeks four weeks, and three months, following whole breast radiation therapy. The signs associated with ARD, are like erythema, dryness, and desquamation, were assessed independently by radiation oncologist and dermatologist, using different scoring scales. The time course, of relative water content ratio, in group C remained at significantly lower than baseline, that is, 0.82 at 0 weeks, 0.81 at 2 weeks, 0.86 at 4 weeks, and 0.88 after 3 months, that is after completion of 10-week trial. Whereas in group M, it was close to the baseline level, that is, 1.05 at 4 weeks, and got slightly decreased after 10 weeks of moisturizer treatment, to 0.95. This indicated increased water content ratio in group M patients when compared to group C patients. The moisture recovery between 2 and 4 weeks was significantly higher in group M when compared to group C. At the end of 2 weeks, 
following whole breast radiation therapy, all the symptoms caused for erythema, itching and desquamation, was maximum. However, at 4 weeks and 3 months, that is, 10 weeks following whole breast radiation therapy, dryness and desquamation, in the irradiated field were significantly less in group M compared to group C. The study confirmed that, treatment with hyperanoid moisturizer for two weeks, following whole breast radiation therapy, significantly increased the skin water content, and also helped to improve the skin dryness and desquamation in patients who underwent whole breast radiotherapy for breast cancer.